Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Coins, Rolls, and Varieties. Uh, JW here. Today we're going to be working on episode 5 of What's in the Box Roosevelt series. We've found one silver so far, a uh, nice looking strike through, and um, a few, few that looked to appear to possibly be in mint state in the 80s. So we're going to jump right on in and see if we can find anything different today. If you're just joining us for the first time, we're looking for any errors, silver, any and all errors, anything unique, um, and silver. And possibly even anything older than a Roosevelt dime. It'd be nice to find a Mercury dime. I have found Mercury dimes doing these boxes in the past. Not very many, but um, you never know. So I'm just going to jump right on in and see what we can find today. Hopefully everybody's uh, having a great day, and uh, thanks again for coming back. If you've been following the uh, the full box hunt so far, we're only doing these about you know five uh, five rolls at a time to keep the videos down in a uh, manageable. Just keep it manageable. If I do all of them, you know, on, on camera, it, the videos tend to get up into the hour, the hour long. The whole box would take about two hours, I think. <clears throat> so I'm trying to, you know, avoid that for now. I think once I've done this for a while, I'll do, I'll do it like the, uh, the rest of, the rest of us do. Which is um, do a couple of rolls on camera and then uh, cut it and then go through the whole thing and then we'll just recap what I find in the end. We'll do that down the road at some point. Is that an 89? No, it isn't. 99. And again, I'm pulling all the Philadelphia's um, post uh, 2000 just to look over them, see if I can find any new errors. If there are any out there, anyway. Looking for the uh, 1989 Philadelphia's. They do have, um, there is a known double die reverse and a verse for that year. Two different varieties though you won't find both varieties on the same coin. 36 and 89 Philadelphia. Awesome. Make sure I don't throw it back. Yeah, that's okay. That's the 86. Okay, 2019. So we have three Philadelphias and 89 to look over. I have a uh, 70 to look over. And then some uh, 21s to look over at a later time. <clears throat> I did go over what I've what I found, what I've pulled out so far, and I didn't see anything on any of them. <clears throat> All right, roll number two. Spinning around backwards, there we go. And I made a mess of it, so I'm just gonna have to go through them as we go. 78, that was a 14. Getting close to doing the half dollars, so that's exciting. <clears throat> Oh, yes, and we're also looking for the uh, 96 West Points. They're still being found in these boxes, so I'll have to be, keep an eye out for those. Depending on, you know, the condition of them, they're still, you can still get a nice premium out of them. And they'd just be nice to have, you know, for your own collection. We have found quite a few 2004 um, Denver 
examples. None, however, have that uh, FS901 um, designation. But I do think that the uh, the dime has it as the uh, FS101, the double ear, and I believe the uh, the quarter, the Washington quarter, has it as the uh, 901. In my opinion, they should both be designated as a 901 or the 5901, one or the other, not a uh, legitimate double die. Those 68, 60s Philadelphia. I'm gonna be looking over those too. Oh no, I lost it. And a 2004. This one 96 Denver. 66. I'm not sure. I have to double check. So many to remember. Again, I need to get that my computer that's behind me in front of me. Clear off this desk, and make a spot for it, so I don't have to spin around. I can just look at it from you know in front of me. I have another desk right behind me, so and I just spin around in circles from one to the other. All right, roll number three. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I might actually use this silver dime that I found in the, uh, in, in the second episode of Can It Be Fixed? And kind of show, you know, the community. I mean, it is a minor RPM, but it's very minor. And based on the condition of it, um, <clears throat> I, I don't even want to mess with it really, as far as trying to get a premium out of that, arp, that repunctionment mark. But what I can do though, wow, that one's a, 2018 and it looks like it's been purposely turned into wow the back is about good and the adverse is about is, is a good and it's got scratch result and some nice PMD all over it so we'll get a close up of that one but anyways I was saying um, yeah I'm not gonna mess with it as far as getting the uh, trying to get a premium out of that RPM. But what I can do is show the community <clears throat> what happens when, you know, you might think that it looks better than what it is. And you try to restore it a little bit, <clears throat> the outcome. Just I 99% sure of, like what that coin will look like if I were to attempt to restore it, thinking it would ever look better. So maybe I'll do that in the near future. Try to squeeze one of the, an episode in for that that series. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm also looking for the 82 Philadelphia No P. Keep forgetting to bring that up. Saw one pretty close, but it wasn't the 82. Basically any 1982. You find a 1982 in one of these boxes and it doesn't have a mint mark, then you have that variety. This one looks to almost be broad, broad struck. Broad struck, I mean. Um, so we'll get a look at that one too. Minor, minor broad, uh, broad strike. Okay. Three. I really should be pulling out the 2010s, but I haven't been. Hmm. All right, a few more here, then we move on to roll number four. Hoping to find that um, that 2004 variety for this video in one of these one of in one of these rolls here. Be nice if I could find that in the, one of the first couple of boxes. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> it is um, a little... Sometimes it can be... Um, uh, how do you say it? Uh, discouraging to not find an error or really anything doing these boxes, but... You really just got to keep going. You know, you don't let that affect you because if you go through enough of them, you'll eventually find something great. And I believe that for believe that to be possible for everybody. <clears throat> I've gone through enough of these to to know that yes, you can get skunked on quite a few of them in a row, but eventually you'll find something that's worth it. said stated before I, I found uh, two of the um, most popular Lincoln double dies doing these boxes the, uh, the 72 Philadelphia FS 104 I've found two of them doing these boxes and the boxes were nowhere near each other you know it's I found one and then a few years later I found another one both were in mint state so I believe those two coins were the uh, the best two finds that I've ever I've ever made doing these boxes, or I should say the highest value, highest value coins. All right, those are the twenty ones and twenty twos. It's a nice looking sixty five. Wow, mint state. Take a look at that one. Where am I listening? Almost sound, it almost looks fake. But I think here it isn't. What's is that? Uh, I believe it's a 90 Philadelphia. Looks like it's been ran over a few thousand times. Very nice 2004 Denver. It'd be nice if that was the double year. That is really nice state. Probably a 63. Um, where are we at? So we got four, three of those so far to look at. Another one. Oh, that, this one's also in state. Yeah, so if you're doing this also at home on your own, um, don't ever be discouraged. Just keep going. Just keep punching through these boxes. Keep looking. Keep searching. Keep the varieties that you want to find in your mind and in, the, in the front of your mind at all times. And it might take a little while, but you'll eventually get there on something. Oops. Go here. Can't even see the date on that one. Really nice 22 there. And a 16 Philadelphia. Get a nice stack of Philadelphias there. And 21. And I don't like that 21. The 21 is all beat up. I'm not even going to look at it. I try not to bother with anything with PMD all over it. <clears throat> Unless, of course, it's a, a 1969 San Francisco uh, Lincoln. Lincoln scent, then yes, I will look at it every time. But both of there anything else I won't even bother with. It's got uh, post mint damage all over it. fingerprints or discoloration is one thing but when it's scratched up like you know looks like somebody took a screwdriver to it or something you know that's another thing another 2004 Denver and this is our last roll of this uh, hunt so also uh, we'll see I didn't think I, I don't think I saw any silver in here nope Doesn't mean that there's nothing here, though. Nineteen, ninety-nine, and a nineteen. Let's 
78. The only thing harder than uh, going through a, a dime box, you know, you see me guys trying to like, I'm trying to catch them and keep almost dropping them. There's only one, th one thing a little bit more difficult than going through these dimes like this, and that's putting them back together again. I, when I do this, I try to roll them back up as neatly and as nicely as possible for the uh, for our bank employees. Because they can and they do have the ability to make this, make it tough on you. So, I always try to get it um, as accurate as possible. Make sure that there's, you know, no rolls are short and the box is clean and rolls are clean and nicely organized back into the box and they won't ever give you any problems and that's it quite a few 21s and 22s to look at and I'm gonna take a look at these real quick and we'll get a couple of close-ups of the uh, nicer the nicer one and then the uh, the beat up Example we have there. Um, I believe the nicest diverse double die for um, the Roosevelt I've ever found was a uh, 1969 San Francisco. Is a proof. That one has it. I think it was the FS 101 on that one. That one has got a beautiful spread on Liberty. One of the strongest ones that are known for the uh, Roosevelt series. So I encourage everybody to look at their mitt sets on that one. Look at Liberty. It's very, very clear doubling if you have it. Mint set, I'm sorry, the, the uh, proof set. And nope. Found two of those back to back, actually. Had two random uh, proof sets. I think I had three uh, 68 proof sets all together, and I happened to just look at them because I was you know reading about that variety and two out of the three that I had were that variety it was unbelievable and I had them for a very long time and had no idea that they were you know the FS 101 all right none of those appear to be anything so I'm gonna look at these 2004s uh, Philadelphia's for another time I don't think any of those were a known date so 2004, no, and no. And the, uh, the double ear variety is very obvious. You can almost, you know, tell just by looking at it with the naked eye if it is that variety or not, if you know where you're looking. And none of those are it. So we'll get a close up of this very nice looking 65. A very minor, almost, I don't even think it would be considered a broad strike, but it looks like it was getting there. And then this, uh, this, uh, what is this, this 2018, it looks like it's an about good. All right, let's take a look at what we found in these five rolls. So here's that, uh, 2018 that is... Um, been purposely worn to this point, I believe, but all those scratches on the front just make it really look even worse. But the back was is nearly evenly worn to an about good, and it's a 2018. That's crazy. Even the uh, the reading is gone on the edge there. No reading at all. Beat down doing about good on the reverse, about good details. So that's interesting to find this for you know 2018. 
that's a Denver and then we uh, found what nearly looks to be a uh, broad strike I guess it's harder to see it on the camera than it is with the, the naked eye yeah so I changed my mind on that maybe it was just the uh, an illusion there for a second now that I can see it through this lens it's it's really not at all all right then we have a uh, beautiful 1965 You know, it, it does look pleasing to the eye and looks like it could possibly be mint state. But in my opinion, I, I think it's probably would grade, you know, in the AU range. I pulled out one of my 65s real quick just to show you guys what a, uh, a mint state near gem 65 looks like. So I'll put that in the, in the frame for you. So this is a, a, a Gem BU 65, a nearly perfect example. I try to have these, you know, nearby when I'm, when I think I find, find something mint state, I always want to look at something mint state to make sure that I'm not, you know, my eyes aren't playing tricks on me after looking through all the circulated stuff and just finding something that looks a little bit better than the rest of them. You can uh, get fooled into messing around with something that is not mint state at all and end up losing money. And there it is. It's a really nice coin anyways. You know, for a 65. It nearly has full rims all the way around. Well, that's what we found today. Thanks for joining me, and uh, see you guys for the next five.